Well, a rash of raccoon encounters has a Fort Mill neighborhood checking twice before heading outside. A homeowner suffered skin breaking scratches from a raccoon attack while inside his garage during the middle of the day. New at 6 WCNC Charlotte's Mike Hansen has a closer look at video from that attack and tells us the other local towns posting warnings of their own. The raccoon came out of nowhere. A raccoon came running in the garage and he was caught off guard and tried to shoo it away and it clawed. You can see in this photograph the injuries left by the claws. And sliced at his leg. This is video of the homeowner rushing inside to get away. Soon you see coming after him the raccoon. And it then chased after him to the front door and started banging its head into the glass. So we were concerned because we've never seen anything like that happen here and it was in broad daylight. Take a closer look. You can see the raccoon trying to claw its way inside. County Animal Control was called, but the animal escaped. Now the homeowners are weary about a possible second encounter. We don't know where it is, but last night another neighborhood on the other side of this neighborhood posted a video of it banging into his glass windows. <laughs> Fort Mill isn't the only town warning about wild animals. <laughs> Union County putting out this warning about three different fox bite incidents near Medlin Road. The town of Huntersville telling residents in the 28078 zip code to be on alert for a rabid fox who bit a person and two dogs. Jeremy Husky and his partner say they are trying to prepare as best they can. We have a uh, pitchfork by the back door and a rake by this door. It is a little scary when you come outside. <laughs> Authorities say if you see a raccoon behaving badly, give 911 a call. A raccoon attack caught on camera, bringing awareness to the dangers outside. Reporting from York County, Mike Hansen, WCNC Charlotte. Oh, it's like a bad movie.